Come on in, class. Come on in. All right. Settle down, everybody. You know me by now. I like to get down to business, uh, as you learned from the first week of class. Okay, so uh, I hope you all had a good weekend. I hope you all completed the homework and left the assignment in the comments. I'll be looking for that. And okay, class, so uh, let's get right down to business. Uh, class is in sesh. All right. Very good class. I'm smoking on a, a jet fuel gelato right now. Okay, so this week's word is a word I'm quite familiar with. And so let me just clear up the chalkboard here. Someone's supposed to clean the chalkboard last week, but uh, I guess they were excited for the weekend. <laughs> All right. Let's see here, class. Today's word on this Monday is vapor. V-A-P-O-U-R. Oh, excuse me. How Canadian of me. V-A-P-O-R. That is the international spelling. I put a U in there because of my Canadian spelling habits. But I think in either UK or US spelling, it's O-R. And there is a Canadian spelling, I'll, I'll have you know. A lot of people don't know that. We are a hybrid of UK and US, and often we just get lumped in with the UK, even though there's rules we take from both US and uh, UK spelling. You know, it's sort of a best of both worlds thing, I like to think of it as. But uh, no, no apps hardly ever include uh, UK spelling or Canadian spelling as an option. Okay, I get sidetracked. Sorry, class. Vapor, here we are. Oh, look at this. Oh, you are. So I guess you can spell it with the U. I should have kept it U. Whatever. I guess I'm catering to the American students. This class. Okay. Sorry. I'm very stoned. I recorded a lot of these lessons in a row. <laughs> uh, uh, vapor as a noun, a substance diffused or suspended in the air, especially one normally liquid or solid. Ah, interesting. Dense clouds of smoke and toxic vapor, man, would be a usage of it in a sentence. And similar, we got haze, mist, spray, steam, condensation, smoke. Although none of these are vapor exactly. They're all similar to vapor, but scientifically, vapor is a distinct thing. And uh, in physics, it is a gaseous substance that is below its critical temperature and can therefore be liquefied by pressure alone. Oh, interesting. And so there's also a dated definition here, which I always enjoy these. A sudden feeling of faintness or nervousness or state of depression. A fit of the vapors. Oh. It's sort of one of those things. I've heard that before in old literature. Okay, that pretty much concludes it, class. It could be uh, Old French or Latin origin. They're not really sure, but they think it comes from Latin vapor, steam, heat. The current verb sense dates back to the early 17th century. Okay, class, that will conclude the lesson, I hope. Uh, the rest of your Monday goes well. Unless, uh, to those of you who don't have any classes this afternoon, I guess it's uh, go home and relax, right? It's Monday. You know, you go home and sleep on Mondays. That's what I do anyways. Recovering from a weekend joke. Okay, all right. I am your teacher, Mr. Junk. Goodbye, class.